This is why your advertising is not working. Welcome to this video. We'll be talking about why your high ticket dropshipping store is not working, give you a high level overview of what could be possibly wrong with your ads because that's probably one of the key components that you're doing wrong for you to not see sales. Let's just jump right onto the whiteboard and let's explain how. So why your advertising is not working. I have broken it down into four components. One is going to be your search terms. Number two is going to be your bids. Number three is going to be your device distribution. And number four is going to be search impression share. So these are the four components of Google Ads that we want to look at to make sure we can troubleshoot our ads and make sure we're doing things correctly. Number one, search terms. What can we do within our search terms? Well, with our funnel structure, we have high, medium, and low. And high terms should be generic. So think of terms like sofa, red sofa. Those should be generic terms. Medium terms should be, for example, let's just do Acme uh, green sofa. Uh, you can't see it So let's just move that down so Acme green sofa and then for low it could be Acme green Sofa XYZ that's like the skew number so our funnel structure with our search terms should clearly be this and if there's any search terms that are not relevant in our funnel with our generic our medium in our low funnel campaign we need to optimize them so we need to use negative keywords so let me just we need to use negative keywords to remove any terms that should not belong in the high medium and low so terms like acme green sofa this should only be in the medium it should not be in the low and if it is we need to use negative keywords either as a phrase match which is the low brackets to move this up the funnel back into the medium or if this term acme green sofa xyz is in the medium we need to move it down and we need to add that term acme green sofa xyz to the low funnel negative keyword list. If you don't even know what this means, check out my Google Shopping Ads tutorial on my YouTube channel. There is plenty, you should be able to learn exactly what you need to know about um, your Google Ads. So generic, which is your high campaign, medium campaign, and low campaign. So that is what we need to do in terms of troubleshooting our search terms. Make sure we are aware of this. Next, we are going to talk about our bids. So bids, what do we need to optimize in terms of uh, bids for our shopping ads? So there's something I like to call the logical position. And inside the high ticket e-com launchpad, I go over this a lot more in detail. But essentially, for example, if you have $500 margin on something that is let's say $2,000, do you want to pay $300 to make a sale and you're pocketing $200 on the $2,000 sale? That's your actually making 10% net. Do you want to do that? Or do you want to have $500 margins so you're only spending 200 and then you're left with 300. So then you're making a little bit more $300 on the $2,000 in revenue. So the logical position will really just depend on where you want to be in auction. So you always have that $500 margin to make the sale. Maybe that's 150 and you're left with 350. Obviously you want to make more per sale, but the thing with making less per sale is the frequency of the sale is less frequent. So you might only make sales, let's say uh, 1.5 months here. You might make one, once per month and then here you might make one every two weeks for example obviously we want to make more profit per sale but at the same time if we make more sales at two hundred dollars profit per sale it might make more sense to take the lower profit per sale but make more sales in return 
So it's really all about this logical position in terms of your bids. So your bids, right? We use device and search impression to, to determine our bids. So our bids, for example, if we are bidding one dollar in our search impression share is at 70 percent and our CPA, which is how much we're paying for conversion, is one hundred fifty dollars. But we have five hundred dollars in margin. That means we can bump our bids up and also look at the search impression share. It's at 70 percent. In terms of search impression share metrics that you want to look at, 70% is a good benchmark. Anything higher is also good if you know there is conversions and converting data for it. So based on our bids of $1, there is lots of room to grow based on what the search impression share metric is telling you. So search impression share under 70% means lots of room to grow. Search absolute top impression share, if that's under, uh, if that's under 10%, that also means there's lots of room to grow. Now, in terms of how high you should go, it really just depends on your margins. Device distribution. So device distribution, how should we go about this device distribution? So in our shopping ads tutorial on our YouTube channel, we talked about the device distribution between computers and mobile. So there should be a 70% split. So 70% should be going to computers and then 30 percent should go to uh, mobile and then tablets i don't really care too much about tablets so tablets historically is just not going to spend much but if you see whichever one of these devices is performing the best well you want to pump more budget into that we generally want to start with computers because historically 80 to 90 percent of times computers do better than mobile so we want to start with computers but then we want to look at hey What's the CPA in mobile? What's the CPA in computers? Where should we redistribute the budget? Maybe mobile is doing better, so we want to push more spend towards computers and then reduce the spend on, uh, or push more spend towards mobile and then reduce the spend on computers. So you just really want to distribute the spend based on what is working best for your ad account because it might be different from my ad account. It might be different from uh, a client's ad account. So. That's the that's the key thing you need to know about device distribution in terms of optimizing your ads to make sure it's profitable as you scale up. Because the part of scaling is really so we have for example revenue and then let's do another graph on traffic. So revenue as revenue increases, traffic also increases. So how do we increase our traffic? Well, we need to push more money into ads or SEO and we just need to inject more money into our um, into our business so revenue increases traffic also increases so they are symbiotic like these two are tied directly together so if you can increase your traffic you are pretty much guaranteed to increase your revenue but we can't just jack up our ad costs without looking at all the other metrics like search terms bids device distribution search impression share so those are the four metrics that are super important if you're struggling with Google Ads. But if you want one-on-one -on -one help with myself and some of our successful coaches inside of the program, then feel free to book a call down below in the description below. And we'll see if we're a good fit to work together one-on-one -on -one to see if we can help you troubleshoot your Google Ads and ultimately build a high-ticket dropshipping store to 10K a month profit guaranteed or your money back. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys took away value. Drop any questions down below in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next one.